What is urban exploration to someone who doesn't know what it is? Just a little bit of the space here, this is the way. So how many times have you been to the subway? At least 50 by now. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna go too, too far, but I just wanna see. Uh... You see that pipe up there is a kind of open end? Yeah. That's what flows. It just rumbled a little. Is your opinion on the whole uh, like location sharing thing changed at all? Or? A little bit. We're going into the abyss behind us. So how did you uh, get into urban exploration? Probably the only person who has ever been recruited to a college for their urban team. If you are familiar with urban exploration, this is the city where it started, Rochester, New York. I'm meeting up with the Rochester native and fellow explorer, Bill Finan. Together we explore several parts of the city and answer the very question, what is urban exploration? Our first stop is an abandoned subway, which was once the Rochester Industrial and Rapid Transit Railway. You don't mind if I just do some like GoPro stuff, right? Yeah, I don't mind. Okay. What is, um, what is urban exploration to someone who doesn't know I guess what it is. Urban exploration to me is trying to experience the man-made environment around us in a different way. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be abandoned. Okay. But it has to be a place that you wouldn't normally see. Yeah. This is down. <laughs> yeah, just just a little bit of the space here. This is the way. Right. Way down into the tunnel. All right. And. <laughs> Yeah. Oh shit. It's actually cool graffiti. I forgot about the ice storm when I said we should come in this way. Yeah, so right now we're entering the Rochester abandoned subway. Um, known back in the day as the Rochester Rapid Industrial Transit Railway, which I believe operated up until the 1970s. Um, so let's, uh, let's take a look. So how many times have you been to the subway? At least 50 by now. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah careful near the edge. Again, everything solid ice in the city. Right, right, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go too, too far, but I just wanna see, uh, It's actually safe enough to be to the edge of the floor. Yeah. Just stay off the floor. Stay off the floor so you can see how many of them Right. That's pretty cool. So, so you, you see that pipe up there with a kind of open end? Yeah. That's what flows. It just rumbled a little. That's why I was running. Oh, okay. When, when that goes, yeah, it sends a 200 degree steam. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, so this must have been the old subway. must have curved up in there. Yeah. Interesting. So is this something that you would do alone usually or no? Or was something else? Like, not usually. Like, yeah. Back when I was all the way up in the road that so Yeah. I sometimes just ride my bike through it was like a shortcut and a little detour. But yeah. Actually exploring it, I'd rather go with people just like anywhere else. Right. Is your opinion on the whole uh, like location sharing thing changed at all? Or? A little bit. Like yeah. I, I still mostly support sharing. Yeah. But I realize that sharing everything with everyone 
yeah. is not necessarily the solution. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, so I was doing research, or back when I was doing research um, for a project on the, uh, the subway, they were saying that I guess like the last cars ran through here sometime in the 1970s, and there's a passenger car from the subway that still um, exists. I think it's in like the Genesee Railroad Museum or something like yeah. that. Yeah. It's either the one in Brush or the one in the Dine. I'm not sure which. Okay. Ever. Oh, cool. Good. This one of my friends. Yeah. going into the abyss behind us. I figured we pretty much had to go straight through the tunnel because the, yeah. the ice was so bad at the really spread straight end. Yeah. But I was a little worried about us getting back up that slope to Fort Street. Okay. Yeah, worst case, I, maybe we could have tried the uh, the exit by the arena, but I don't we know. Probably could have dragged something in to do that one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. So people, yeah, I guess you drive right in. Yeah, so you place a couple times a Oh, they do? Yeah, this definitely seems more like the easy way in and out. But I was reading, I thought that this was sealed. Like that that entrance, or like where we just came out of. Man, my ceiling was past there. Like I said, there used to be yeah. four more blocks of the tunnel. Okay. So you pretty much lived in Rochester your whole life, or? Yeah. Okay. I, how? What do you think of it? I like it more than I used to. Okay. Until college, I really wanted to move out. And yeah. Now I realize it's probably one of the better places for me. Okay. So I'm pretty new to like urban exploration. Like I've been doing it since. Probably 2018, you know, got my start at Kings Park Psych really? Center. Well. Yeah, but I mean, like, the interest I had in it was, like, way back, probably, like, 2000, between 2005, 2009. Um, but, uh, you know, just going away to school, like, didn't really know how to get into it back then. There really wasn't, like, a whole lot of... I mean, I don't know if... I think URE maybe was around back then. I'm not sure, but... Um, I, I wouldn't have known about yeah. it either way. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah. What, uh, so how did you uh, get into urban exploration? I am I'm probably the only person who has ever been recruited to a college for their urbex team. Okay. <laughs> so, That's pretty progressive, I guess. For <laughs> So the very first thing I explored were active bus and subway tunnels in the case. Okay. Which I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Okay. So one of my friends who told me was when I'm doing college campus visits. Yeah. Never say I'm never say I'm a high schooler checking a place out. Okay. I always say that I am a, a transfer freshman from Princeton State School and I was just trying to save money my first year. Sure, okay. So I did that at MIT. Um Oh, this is actually interesting. I want to get your take on it. So I used to work with uh, someone who was a, uh, like a street artist. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so he knew of some like abandoned, you know, spots, like he knew what Urbex was, you know, was familiar with the Urbex community. So like I asked him, I'm like, um, you know, the whole idea of like location sharing and talking about spots where you've taken photos and stuff, um, does that sort of open the doors for people like you? And he said, he kind of like looked at me and laughed and he's like, he's like, no, if anything, you stole the spots from us. Yeah, I completely agree. Interesting. And someone has to make the entrance and- Sure. 
in most places, that's not usually an explorer. Right. Yeah, I think I would agree with that to an extent. I had applied an early decision to the University of Rochester. Okay. And... What'd you study there? Mechanical engineering and music. Oh, nice. Okay. So that, that's how I ended up here for that combination of majors. When would you say that urban exploration really took off? Probably like the early 2000s? It took off in Rochester in 94. Okay. It got a, a very fast start here. Yeah. If you look in here, this is... This, unfortunately, there's never been a good way in. Okay. So what is this? Oh. County Jail? No. This used to be part of the newsroom of the Democratic Chronicle, but I guess I've done some work on it. Oh, wow. No way. Yeah. I mean, it does look like there's... Yeah. So... Act, it's somewhat active. Yeah, they're, I think, restoring it. February 20... 20 yeah, I mean, there's an updated calendar. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Not, not abandoned anymore. Yeah. They, they've, I guess, taken away the... Yeah. They back, back there used to be the new Sprint factory. Okay. They gutted all the machines out of there and they've seen. Oh, no way. After having left them, they, they moved production into the suburbs. Yeah. Like 25 years ago. Okay. My dad's in the publishing business. So oh, is he? Yeah. Yeah. Not for the newspaper, but somehow I was still pulled out of school and brought to opening day of the new newspaper plant. Yeah. I want to say that was in 96. Right, right. Yeah. This used to be... This used to be an absolutely bustling corner in Rochester. Yeah. Recently, it's 20 years ago. It was, right. That was the newsroom. Okay. That oh, yeah, the Gannett newspapers. Yeah, yeah. so the original... Uh, yeah. I saw it there. Yeah. The USA Today's newsroom was actually in Rochester, too. Okay. You'd think it would be in New York or Washington, but right. no, it was in that building. Oh, no way. When the Democratic Chronicle moved, yeah. the USA Today used this for a while. Okay. Times Square building used to have a lot of a lot of the city's more prominent lawyers in it. Okay. The courthouse is right here. Yeah. But it fell into disinterest. That's yeah. West City Hall. Okay. Which, you know, this used to be Thompson Writers. Okay. For probably the whole 20th century. Yeah. Responsible for. 40% or more of the law books published in the United States. Oh, no way. The market share went up and down with mergers and acquisitions, but yeah. if you were in legal publishing, that was the place to be. Sure, sure. And that's how I came to be here. Okay. Uh, after my dad went to law school, he, yeah. he took a job there. Okay. Now, now it's all remote, but 40 years later, he's still at it. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's awesome. Yeah. What do you, um... In the index of most law books in this country, you, you will find a Bill Feynman. <laughs> right, so it looks like they're designed to have water fall down them. Yeah. So that used to be, that was probably the case at one point. And then you see that sketchy railing that you can kind of see through the arches. Yeah, yeah. That's what we were That's where we were to. before, yeah. Yeah. That was, so the library used to, one, get its power, and two, get its air conditioning from the river. Oh, no way. The cold river water flowing through, yeah, cools down the whole structure. Right. For the next and last stop on the trip, Bill and I head to the remains of the Rochester incinerator plant which once processed 60 tons of the city's municipal waste daily. It was decommissioned sometime in the early 90s. They filmed a movie here. Like uh, the Alphabet Killer or something? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they filmed the AC in here? And you can see how often this stuff is it. Right. Probably one of the more hired traffic areas. Let's make sure that there's no. Yeah.
No stick. It's a really sketchy climb to the top. Really? Yeah, no way I would do that. The missile is painted over an actual bank city here. Oh, really? You can see the very bottom of it. That was an actual Banksy? Yeah. From about eight or nine years ago, I think, was the first time I saw it. Really? Yeah. What was it of? A little girl pulling a... a little girl pulling, like, a little, little toy wagon with a oh. miniature cannon on it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can still kind of make out yeah, you the... you can see the wagon. Right. You can't see the tap of... Half of the girl, the cannon, or the balloon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some more street art. Yeah, this area, this area is basically still part of my fault. Okay. Probably what would have been an old bathroom. Yeah. Hey, there's a fire truck. I wonder what they're here about. If they're here for oh, the maybe that or the river. Probably the river. Because uh, yeah. I mean, then. Oh, well. Huh. I guess we could see on the way out. Is there a way up from the, the bottom level here? There's not a way all the way up to the clouds, but there are middle levels in between. Might as well check, uh, yeah. check that out. Oh wow. Yeah, there's like no way up. Yeah, I think we need to get around. Yeah, so what I think they did was um those claws on the upper level must have dropped the stuff probably into the chute. I don't know. I'm curious, but oh, we'll eventually make it around to the upper level if I slept us. How many times have you been to the uh, this place? Quite a few. Quite, yeah. Uh, it's yeah, pretty. They got their hook and ladder out there training. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a little uh, obscured by the trees over there, but the city of Rochester Fire Department is doing some, uh, probably what looks like some training right by the river. Um, you can see there's a guy up on the uh, ladder just shooting water right out into the Genesee River. Yeah, probably one of the more interesting things seeing on an explorer, but let's go inside. This is the incinerator, whoa.
guess it is the, the claws that took all the waste. Pretty cool. All municipal waste. I wonder how old that is. Yeah, looks like it's all roofing shingles. Pro probably. Yeah, actually, that might have just fallen through from the stairs. Back in like the early days of exploring, um, didn't you say like once it wasn't it wasn't uncommon for thirty or forty people to show up at a spot? In Rochester, all the time. Wow. We, so what was what was the um, like the local? Pretty small for Groundhog Day. Seven day, I think, was yeah. more typical for that particular trip. Okay. So what was the, uh, I guess, like the public stance on it back then? People didn't really care that much about urbex? or Didn't really know about it. And yeah. When cups did show up, it was too much paperwork. But either I ask if we were there with a the group and we'd kind of explain the company stuff, which they'd do okay with that. Yeah. Or they'd... Like the assessments, what we were doing down there, and they say we should leave. Or... Yeah. Not a bad spot to train, I guess. Yeah. I should post some pictures when I get home from 15 years ago in these places. Really? Yeah. I'd be I'd be curious to see like what what they look like, you know, then and now. What, what kind of advice would you give someone like first starting out in our uh, urban exploring? I would hope they join the Discord because yeah, it's better to have a community than to do it alone. Let's try to go alone. Yeah. Like it can be fun to be first to a place, but obviously it's a much bigger risk than it is. Yeah. Not being first to a place. I look at it as we're the first first to a place since the last person. Yeah. <laughs>